Hello everyone and welcome back to Brotato. Today we will be doing our Danger 1 clear. Um, so the, the the character I cleared with uh, cleared Danger 1 with was the Entrepreneur character. Um, you'll see here. Uh, so minus 25% items price, harvesting modifications are increased by 50%. Uh, you gain 25% more materials from recycled items. Um, but which is basically when you when you like skip an item you get a recycle item or you can recycle like your weapons from the uh, um, From your equip screen there uh, and I'll, but but the drawbacks is 100% uh, of your materials at the start of waves are um, Are taken away so you have to spend all your all your materials basically every single wave because uh, you start at zero each time and uh, damage modifications are reduced by 50% um, so, so it's a little harder to stack damage, but, uh, but it's easier to get, um, get materials. So it's kind of like an econ character, uh, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, these are all the starting weapons, by the way. I'm not sure if I went over this in the first video. You can choose whichever one of them you can start with, or, uh, or you can choose random. I generally just go with random because, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly just, just trying stuff out in general, especially in these, uh, these older, uh, older runs that I'm posting all the way up until we get to danger five. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be going danger one here. We'll just be hitting random and we get an unarmed palm strike as our starting weapon here Which uh, doesn't do any damage it uh, it increases your harvesting. So it's uh Definitely not ideal as you can see. We're not really killing anything. So uh, so we only end up with uh, with eight materials um, So yeah, we've only got eight eight dollars Fortunately, we have just enough to buy a fist which is actually gonna do damage and it is another unarmed item, so uh, so there we get a little bonus for uh, for having two unarmed uh, unarmed weapons. Uh, I believe it's just uh, an extra dodge bonus. I think it's three percent per uh, per additional one. Like you get three for having the first two unarmed, and that lets us actually take out some uh, some enemies there and gain some materials. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna take a metal detector here. Um, or sorry, no, we're not gonna take metal detector. We're gonna lock it. Um, the metal detector, though, gives you as a small chance to uh, to double the materials when you pick them up, as well as it gives you some luck and engineering. Um, engineering is a stat that we can't really use right now, but we might end up using later. Um, but yeah, just adding, we just add two random weapons again because we need to we need to start doing damage to we we need to be able to cr clear enemies to uh, to actually gain uh, materials right to play the game. All right, I think we're just gonna go for a little bit of extra dodge here, since we are kind of getting up and close and personal at this point. Take a roll, and uh, we're, I think we're gonna um, we're gonna lock the scared sausage as well as this uh, SMG. The scared sausage gives your attacks a 25% chance to basically set enemies on fire, and that scales with uh, elemental damage. And uh, yeah, I mean, I mean. We'll, uh, like obviously we're we're hitting quite a few things with our uh, with our melee attacks or uh, hitting hitting big swaths of enemies. So setting them on fire, since we can't do much damage, it might uh, might end up or should uh, should be able to uh, increase our uh, our damage output a little bit at least. And also there's there's like really cool ways you can build into it, and especially with the SMG since it's uh, it's range and it's got a high rate of fire. Also we should have taken the coupon first, but we didn't. All right, we take another SMG, which is a little bit awkward because we actually have been taking uh, negative damage uh, modifications, but because of the 50%, um, it's a 50% difference, or sorry, uh, what do you call it? When you take a damage modification on Entrepreneur, it's uh, minus 50%, um, which which works in the negative as well. So taking negative uh, damage is actually not as impactful um, in the same way that taking a positive damage is not as impactful. So it's kind of a... Kind of an interesting little uh, little give and take and sort of wrinkle for uh, for when looking at um, at stats. And yeah, now now that we've got some uh, some decent rate of fire going, uh, we're we're clearing clearing enemies all right. Definitely not doing incredibly good, but all right, we skip that um, mostly because I just really like luck. Um, finding higher rarity things I think is very important. And again, at this point in the game, I didn't know that you can combine your weapons that are equipped. So, uh, so I thought I had to just find higher rarity items. Um, so that's why I kind of, I kind of leaned really heavily into luck. So 
that's going to give us some extra extra pickup range there and harvesting. And there's a higher higher rank spear which we're going to lock. And we might as well take our last roll. Um, we we should probably lock that snake. The burn it says burning spreads to nearby enemies, which makes it work really really well with the uh, the scared sausage, which is setting things on fire. But again, this is like really early in my uh, my time with Brotato, so like I hadn't really. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm still I'm still just figuring things out currently. Um, even though I've I've finished I've finished Danger Five uh, a few with a few different potatoes already. But I'm still I'm still just trying stuff out and figuring things out. But I definitely have more of an understanding of how the game works and how to how to focus builds a lot better nowadays. All right, so we get we get uh, another um, purple rarity. Uh, weapon in the shop which we are gonna we are gonna take we're gonna recycle our uh our base level spear there and take a hammer level three which is um it's a heavy and blunt object we get a second metal detector for some more luck and, and engineering and uh potential econ now we don't we still don't have any ways to use engineering i guess i should i should explain what engineering does basically engineering um it doesn't really affect anything. There's there's some things that scale with engineering. They're pretty specific, but mostly just uh, it affects your um, your structures that you build. Um, I'm trying, not sure if you've seen, but in the last uh, last one, like we were offered a bunch of turrets that we didn't take. But yeah, turrets uh, turrets are only the damage is only affected by the engineering stat. Your regular stats don't affect it at all. But I mean, uh, your your like on hit effects do affect it. Like uh, I'm pretty sure the scared sausage and like uh, piercing and like uh, bouncing. Bouncing um, projectiles uh, affect your your turrets, but but the only way to increase their damage is to take engineering. I'm gonna take some HP regen there. It's always good to have some sustain. We get a third metal detector, so that's very good. There's another scared sausage, which we are gonna pick up. Taking some crit chance there, and uh, there's a rip and tear. Um, we're gonna, I think we're, yeah, we're gonna take the level three uh, ghost axe here first, which doesn't work with anything that we have, but it's a higher level, higher level weapon. And at this point in uh, in the game, that's how I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you increase your uh, your strength. We'll uh, we'll see that we'll see that change over over the course of these runs. Things get a little bit uh, a little bit scarier there, but thanks. Thankfully, we've got some regen now. You can see my health uh, health ticking up little by little there. But these uh, these charging enemies, as I said before, very very scary, and they get uh, they get more frequent the higher higher level danger you are. So at this point, we've got really good econ. Getting 300 um, materials per wave at on wave eight, I think, is pretty good, or wave nine. Sorry. Take a little bit more harvesting there. We don't need melee damage really at all. Um, well, I guess not. Sorry, our our most of our weapons are melee damage, so I guess I guess we do need melee damage, but we uh, we just sacrifice a little bit there. But again, the uh, modifications being uh, adjusted by fifty percent it makes it uh, makes it not so so bad to lose one melee damage. All right, we're gonna lock a rocket launcher there. Um, I mean, we don't really have a ton of cohesion in our build, so I figure a rocket launcher just seems like a very powerful weapon, and it is, so uh, so that's why we're going to take it there. And also, I, th I think rocket launcher is like a, a really fun one to build around, because um, it basically just shoots explosions, and there's different ways to modify explosions that you can pick up. And also, uh, the rocket launcher does scale on uh, on range damage, which I think we have picked up a little bit. Not to mention, it's a big area of effect applying um, the scared sausage hit. Definitely take the ten percent damage for a little bit of attack speed. And uh, we're stacking up dodge at this point. Uh, well, I mean, we've got eight, but uh, but I think it's uh, pretty good to stack it up. There's another metal detector, so that's four now. So they're uh, we're really uh, really getting a lot of econ out of these uh, out of these shops, which is very nice. And again, then we take a plastic exp explosive there, as you saw, which is going to increase uh, explosion uh, size or damage. One of the two. Either way, it's going to help our explosions. 
And there's a, a circular saw three, which doesn't fit with anything that we have here uh, theme wise, but it is level three and uh, I think we're gonna, we, we might lock it. I am, I am looking at it pretty hard. Unfortunately, we can't sell the blue one to get to it. So I guess we end, we end up selling the, uh, the other purple one to trade it, which is like, uh, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that choice. I don't know why, why I necessarily did that. Maybe it was just something that I saw that, uh, I hadn't used before at that point. Um, I think this the saw provides some life steal, so that might might be what 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 uh what put my decision over the top there. Or what the deciding factor was, because uh, I mean life steal provides some sustain. And as you can see, we're uh, we're clearing little enemies pretty well, but these uh, these bigger enemies are a little bit harder. But again, we're uh, we're doing very well econ wise. We take the one at engineering again. We don't have any way to use the engineering, but I mean that mean now. I mean we see a laser turret there, so immediately we get kind of paid off for taking the engineering. So that's gonna do uh, do um, a decent amount of damage to uh, to single targets. All right, there's a flamethrower in the shop. Uh, we don't have any elemental damage as of right now, but it's very good with the scared sausage as well as it's a, it's a heavy um, weapon. So like the rocket launchers and the uh, and the hammer are uh, are heavy. So now we've got four uh, four heavy weapons and the he heavy increase it just goes straight to damage, which uh, which is pretty good. We'll take the alien magic, which is just going to be some extra extra health stats there. There's another flamethrower, which we're going to get rid of the circular saw for. And also there's a shredder um, three here, which uh, which is an explosive gun. And the two rocket launchers are also classified as, as explosives. So we're going to take that. So now we've, we've kind of got a little build going here. We're going to lock the medical turret. We've got the engineering stats that we picked up uh, almost coincidentally. But uh, but yeah, the medical turret, I feel like is an extremely powerful uh, turret, even if you don't have a ton of engineering, because like it just it just adds another avenue of getting health, which is uh, really at a premium during uh during the runs but i found finding a balance between uh between defensive and offensive uh capabilities in, in these is like is really uh is really tough but uh but kind of fun to like figure out exactly when you need to uh when you need to take damage when you need to uh to take health or sustain i do think health is probably a little bit more important just because, uh, I mean, that's just just what I found. It's like you can get swarmed very easily, so so taking health is good. All right, we take a magazine, which is going to give us some range damage and attack speed. There's a uh, yeah. There's that. We're going to take that medical turret, of course. Um, we could take the screwdriver, but uh, I think I didn't realize that it scales with engineering and actually would have worked really well with our build as it plants mines, which are explosion, which are explosive. So they're affected by your uh, your explosion stats. Taking even more luck again, just so we can see higher level um, items and we'll lock the plastic explosive, which is going to increase our explosion sizes even more. Yeah, you can see our wave clear pretty good. The uh, the bigger ones obviously take a lot more hits, so we have to we have to keep dodging them. But uh, but the fact that we're able to uh, to move around in the center of the map usually means that your wave clear is uh, is at an acceptable level or a good level even because uh, in general, I find myself kind of rotating around the edges. Just uh, just trying not to get hit. <laughs> so getting uh, getting the materials that are in the middle is generally pretty tough. All right, we 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 uh, recycle the the um, pickup rate for some reason. Uh, we do take the glass cannon, which is going to reduce our armor to negative two. And for, and the farther your negative your armor goes into the negatives, the more damage you do take. So it's a bit risky, but uh, but yeah, we go for that. Um, the warrior helmet gives us decent defensive stats, but I think losing speed is just uh, 
too much of an ask. Especially when, uh, when we have low armor, we need to be able to dodge things. Um, there's, I mean, there's a, there's an argument for just like, uh, kind of using armor as a dump stat at this point, since we're already in the negatives. Um, but like, I feel like I don't want to go too far down. Also, you see, we took some more, uh, took some more mines, which is again, building into uh, sort of an explosion build. There's a, uh, there's another hammer, which is, uh, which is level three. But like, I don't think it should be replacing any of uh, what we have, even if it's a higher rarity. Again, I could just uh, lock it and combine it into uh, into a red ver or a hammer four. Um, but uh, I didn't know I could do that again, as I keep re reiterating. I believe I didn't figure it out until I'd finished Danger Two, but uh, but we'll see we'll see how it goes in the next one. All right, a lot of uh, a lot of charging enemies, a lot of projectiles in this wave. Things are things are starting to heat up. But these uh, these flamethrowers really really doing work, and uh, our rocket launchers clearing out the little guys. All right, more plastic explosive, which more more explosion size, always down for that. And there's a level four uh, attack speed upgrade, which we're very happy to take. Attack speed with the rocket launcher, I think, is very good. So we'll take another rocket launcher there. Unfortunately, we got to get rid of one of the flamethrowers. Yeah, we'll just take more defensive stats and sacrifice some luck there, but that's fine at this point. We are coming to uh, coming to the back back end of the of the wave, so so we just want to make ourselves as strong as possible as we go into the last few uh, last few waves. We have six left. It's alien tongue that we recycled earlier, and I wasn't really sure why I made that decision, and we lock it here. So, uh, I, th I think maybe I realized that I wasn't really getting all the materials I could, so, uh, so pickup range. Pickup range, I think, is very good. Um, again, like, especially when you're, uh, when you're a ranged, uh, ranged build, being able to pick up, uh, materials is, uh, is pretty important. Um, also, I didn't explain before, but you see the, the you can see my materials number in the top left there, just under uh, under the experience bar. Um, so the the first number is your number of experience or of number of materials you have, and the number below it is materials that get collected that you didn't pick up during the wave. Um, so for each one of those, you get double materials when you start the next wave. Um, so like however many you didn't collect in the last one, every time you collect one in the next wave, um, it'll be worth double. So that's kind of nice. It kind of uh that way you're not you're not like leaving materials behind so you have the uh the opportunity to kind of recoup those in the next wave all right there's a jetpack it's a lot of speed and dodge but we do lose a bunch of max hp and even more armor we do get to add another scared sausage that's our third one so we've got a very very high likelihood to uh to be setting things on fire and there's another shredder three which is uh, an explosive gun, so we might uh we might be changing something out here. All right, so even though we have negative armor, our uh, our dodge speed is up to, or our dodge percentage is up to thirty five. So so that's kind of another way that you can build defensively is just by stacking dodge and hoping to never get hit. We'll lock some dynamite there for more explosion damage. You can see the size of these explosions are uh, are getting pretty large. Just uh, just popping large uh, large groups of enemies all at once. Honestly, expl explosion like building into explosions is one of my favorite things to do in the game so far that I've discovered. Just being able to like uh, just clear 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 out so many enemies all at once, super fast is very satisfying to me. I don't want that. That's a main, mainly a melee damage thing. And now we're 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 out completely out of our melee uh, melee weapons. Took an item that had a bunch of elemental damage, which uh, which is very good for flamethrower and our scared sausage. There's a coupon. I feel like it's always correct to buy coupons. 
I'll buy an alien alien uh, alien eyes is a very interesting item um it deals it like sends out a wave of eyes around you that deal damage that scales with your max hp so it's uh it's very much a tank uh item that does damage which is very nice you can see those five five or, or six six eyes uh popping out around uh around my character just helping uh helping clear things around me And uh, yeah, the more the more you stack up the alien eyes, the more eyes come out when you uh, when it when it triggers. So if we get some more here, we'll see uh, we'll see see more and more, a bigger a thicker and thicker circle around uh, around uh, my potato here that uh, helps clear out enemies. There's a there's a scope which adds range damage and range, but we lose attack speed. But I think that's worth it. Again, these rocket launchers scale off of range damage. Um, and yeah, so we take another alien eyes, which is nice. That's going to add some more eyes to those, uh, to that circle. We're going to have to get rid of, uh, one of our, one of our rocket launchers there for, uh, for a flamethrower level three. And there's a, a sword level four, which is a very, very powerful weapon, but I just don't think it doesn't, I mean, it is heavy, so it, it would increase our, uh, our damage. But the fact that we're kind of, we're kind of all ranged now, I think, uh, I think we're going to lean into that. Uh, consider the handcuffs. The handcuffs gives you a bunch of damage in three different stats, but it caps your max HP, so you can't increase it anymore. Which is, uh, again, handcuffs you, so a very fitting item name. Alright, now we got some very, uh, very tanky, uh, mummy enemies. They're generally, they have a ton of health, so, like, you need some form of, either need to be doing a ton of damage to them, or, uh, some, some bit of knockback. Uh, knockback, I think, is another very important stat, as it uh, obviously keeps uh, keeps enemies off of you, especially if you have a high rate of fire. You can see explosions just going off all over the screen here. Enemies hitting our hitting mines as well as being shot by our rocket launcher. We get a bunch more attack speed. We've got our attack speed up to 102, so. So we're shooting, shooting, um, shooting rockets at a very, very accelerated rate. There's a toolbox, which is going to give us a bunch of engineering, um, at the, at the cost of some of the, we don't really need the attack speed. So I think, uh, I think it's a reasonable, reasonable trade off there for, uh, for the engineering to increase our turret effectiveness, uh, as well as our mine effectiveness. Uh, having mines spawn all over the uh, all over the map helps us with uh, keep the enemies uh, the enemy horde thinner, anyways, before they can get to us. As you can see, our wave clear is very very good now. Like it, it was good before, but like at this point, like their things barely have time to spawn before they're exploding. And this is wave 18, so uh, so this is a notorious. Generally, wave 18, you get like a lot of uh, a lot of these charging enemies, and they like they they pile up super fast. So the fact that we were able to keep the uh, the board so thin there was uh, is a real testament to our wave clear. Now we get offered a little bit of extra attack speed here, which we are going to take, and then we get a red stat shop. Um, you get guaranteed uh, rarity stats at uh, at certain milestone levels, like that was level 25, so that's why all the stats are red there. And now we have a whole bunch of money to work with, and there's some more alien eyes, which is again going to help with our wave clear. And uh, and we're actually going to transition out of uh, out of some of these explosions, out of the rocket launchers, into a minigun, which is just like a super high rate of fire uh, gun. It also is classified as heavy. So uh, we're still keeping those uh, those heavy bonuses, which is going to add a bunch of extra damage um, to us. Add some more pickup range, because we can always use more of that in this type of build. And yeah, uh, I'm not entirely sure it's like correct to get out of the rocket launchers completely. Um, again, at this point, I was just doing it based on uh, the higher rarity and the fact that I'd never seen mini guns before. So. Uh, so we went for it and we're still we're doing a lot more focus damage now, but we've got a little bit less clear. 
Um, but yeah, hope, hopefully that's uh, not going to be uh, too much of a difference there. You can see the uh, enemies are, are getting a little bit closer to us now. And those charging enemies not not going down uh, quite fast enough. They're still uh, still managing to get close, but uh, come out of that, that wave relatively unscathed. And uh, that item's going to give give us a lot of uh, a lot of dodge, so we're going to take that. Our dodge is uh, dodge is capped now, which is nice. So anything that does get through, uh, we have a sixty percent chance to dodge it. And yeah, going into the last wave, we just we just need to get stra a little bit, or just need to add as much strength as possible. Obviously, uh, we got a fourth fourth set of alien eyes, which is very nice, and there's a fifth set. So you'll see a very dense circle of eyes popping out in a ring every once in a while. Again, those scale with our max HP, which is almost 100, which is like, it's not, not incredibly high, but it's pretty solid. All right, see those eyes popping out. And yeah, we're like I said, we're doing a lot more focus damage than we were with the, uh, the rocket launcher, which allows us to kind of focus on the boss here and also allows us to, uh, our alien eyes are, are helping us clear a lot by, uh, and allowing us to focus on on dodging these projectiles spinning around the boss here um the lower difficulties the bosses are a lot easier to kill um like like you can see the health getting really really low the wave will end once the boss is dead but often you won't be able to uh to kill the boss and you'll just kind of have to have to clear and, and stay alive long enough to uh to finish the wave i feel like the bosses at higher higher difficulties are a little bit ridiculous but uh but yeah we managed to take it down we kill the boss even and uh and we're done danger one so so yeah i hope you hope you enjoyed this um again these uh this game's been a lot of fun i'm definitely uh i really appreciate all the uh, all the other autocaster game suggestions i'm uh i've ch checked them out added all the, all of them to my uh to my steam wish list and uh and yeah i wouldn't mind wouldn't mind trying some of them out like probably on stream or something um but yeah again it was a lot of fun to do. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it and uh, really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, I hope you all have a have a great rest of your day. And uh, I will see you tomorrow for a storybook brawl video. Again, thank you all for uh, for sticking with me while we uh, while we try out some new content. Uh, I really appreciate it.